Hello, hello, hello. Welcome in. This is Kirsten from Kirsten Red V Sale. I hope everyone's doing fantastic today. Um, let's see here. I'm here to bring you a preview slash pre-sale video uh, for my live sale, which will be tomorrow, Thursday, September 7th. It will be at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, which is, we haven't had, I think it's still 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Y'all have not had daylight savings, right? Where I live, we don't celebrate. Celebrate? Is that a celebration? I don't think so. We don't do daylight savings. So 5 p.m. Pacific. I think we're all still on the same time as we were last week. I know. I'm a nut. It's been crazy. This has been a crazy month. or Well, the month just started. So August was a crazy month, and September doesn't seem to be not crazy yet. So bear with me. Um, what else? Let's see. Um, 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 if you're new here, hi, welcome. Thank you for clicking in. If you would like to subscribe, that would be fantastic. Uh, give me a thumbs up or thumbs down. Uh, I just got an email from YouTube saying, Kirsten, you're not saying that enough. So keywords, subscribe, like, don't like, fabulous. Um, if you do want to participate in tomorrow's live sale, I just need you to shoot me an email. You need to register. I'll have all that information in the title of this video and also in the description box. I just need your name, your YouTube name, your um, email associated with your PayPal account, the country, zip, and city in which you reside, just so I know how to uh, bill for shipping, and that's it. Anyway, um, if you are interested in things that I show that are available for pre-sale, um, I just need you to shoot me an email. It's first come, first pay. Um, everything else that I don't mention is not for pre-sale. Okay, um, but I'll try to be clear as we go. Let's see here. <sighs> so I hope everyone's doing well. I've been just hanging in there. Um, I have this beautiful, this was mine. Um, I don't think I've ever, I've maybe worn it once. There's a couple different types of these. Um, this one is an actual antique one. They have ones that um, from different time periods, from what I was told, I don't know. Uh, but this one is supposedly Art Nouveau. Um, it is fabulous. It's like a gazing ball. Um, because it's mine, it is a smaller size. I will give you the size. It is ovalish, so there is room up in here. So when it sits on the mandrel, is not exactly the real size. So um, I'm gonna stick it on my finger. I know this is like the worst way, but the mandrel is round. Our fingers are not round. Sometimes rings are not round. So this fits my middle finger. My middle finger is about a six and a quarter. Sometimes a six and a half, but usually a six and a quarter. So I'm gonna say this is about a six and a quarter. But if you are six, this will fit you. If you are six and a half, it'll fit tight. If you are bigger than that, it will not fit. <laughs> anyway, it is beautiful here. Oh, there we go, there we go. Sorry, I'm like rushing around here. Really beautiful, like a gazing, I don't know. I thought they were called gazing balls. I don't know exactly the term. This is sterling. And all it says on the inside is sterling. I do not see a maker's mark. It's a little worn out, but oopsie, it says sterling. Okay. <laughs> What else am I going to do? Let's see. Oh, boy. Um, I am going to be bringing this. This is uh, Sterling Silver. This is Art Deco. These are actually, gosh, I just based, I don't know if these are glass or rock crystal. Uh, oh, boy. Let me fire up my Presidium, and we'll come back to this one as we go on with my pre-sale, pre-whatever it is, <laughs> preview slash pre-sale. Um, I've had that one for a little while. I collect those, and I don't remember which ones are rock crystal, which ones are glass. I don't know, so I'll be back to this. But this one is available for pre-sale, but uh, whether it's rock crystal or uh, quartz will change the price of it, obviously. Um, but this is all sterling. It is beautiful. Festoon, deco, sterling, old, old, old thumb clasp. So I'll come back to letting you know if this is glass or crystal. Wow. Good start. Good start. Yay, me. Okay. What else? I have, I don't even know. Okay, I'm gonna show something that's not for pre-sale. This one is not. This is incredible. This is uh, basically a museum piece. This is all handmade. It is from Israel. It is sterling silver. It is incredible. So you have the textured panels and then the just smooth panels. And it is marked on the back, handmade in Israel. Sterling silver, it is incredible. It's It feels, I did stick it on, I gotta say this really, 
it's made fantastic. Like this has weight to it, but does not have weight. It is distributed wonderfully throughout your collarbone and neck area. It's really a gorgeous piece. Um, this is a little bit older piece. There's a little bit of wear to it, um, but that can easily be buffed out or just leave it. Who cares? It's fabulous. And this is me just doing a quick polish and look at that. Yeah, so this will be up for auction uh, tomorrow evening. Because let's see. Oh, I think my presidium is fired up. Let's see. Oh my goodness. Okay. Let me see. Let's see. Is this crystal or is this glass? Are we taking bets here? Let's see. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, let's see. I think it's glass. And the baba. Well, well, hold on. Let me see what it says on my ring, because, oopsie. Oh, so sorry. That's so annoying when you hit metal. It does that horrible beep. And Okay, well, let me just double check on this, because it's going a little bit past the glass, but I did, I did a quick calibration. I really need to, when you move, when you have these presidiums, they're really, really temperamental. You have to remember that. So every time you move it, even just a little bit, it uncalibrate so like when you're live and you're like moving your thing around it's not calibrated so you have to do you could do a soft calibration but you really should do a hard set calibration if you actually want it to be reliable which it comes with that little key and you have to hard set it um and then it really goes back to true calibration um you know i'm not you know this also you know is a presidium so it's not like <laughs> You know, you, you have to have a little bit of knowledge or, you know, it'll tell you if something's glass or not, you know, but you, anyway, and it doesn't tell you if something is man-made or not. So I think the necklace, this beautiful deco, I'm pretty sure is uh, glass. So heavy, I don't know if it's leaded glass, it is, it has a lot of weight to it, but it's gorgeous. Uh, sterling silver, art deco, regardless, it is just a beautiful festoon antique. Okay, now that we got that out of the way. What did I show you? Oh, I showed you the necklace. Ooh, okay, I'll show you something else that's not available for pre-sale. This is from the Shanghai Museum in China, a long time ago. So this is a AAA quality uh, garnet, sterling silver, pearl, and then you have this fantastic pendant that is attached to it. Um, sterling, garnet, and I don't know what this stone is. I'm sure someone will know out there. I can look it up. This is really fantastic. It comes with the original box that it came in. I'll show you that in a second. This is heavy. This one has a lot of weight to it. Look how amazing that is, fancy. And it comes in the original box. Shanghai Museum. Box is in now good condition. So. Really cool. I, I like these pieces because I don't get them often, um, and uh, they're, they're, to me they're unusual. You don't, it's not mass produced, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Let me see. Okay, so I just got this ring in and I do love it. Um, it's just a little too big on me, um, which you know, but I'm sure the size was the size was obviously probably told to me, but I just. I don't know, didn't pay attention. I love it. I got this in from Lydia, believe it or not. This is a sterling silver and wild horse. Obviously, I like that kind of stone because, well, well, this one's not wild horse, but you know. I, anyway, um, it's, I thought it was going to fit my middle finger, um, but it's a little too big. So this is a six and a half. And so because it's such a big ring, it, it, it needs to fit tightly there and it doesn't. I thought, for some reason I thought it was a six, but it's a six and a half. So um, this is gonna be available and I'm just gonna be selling this for what I paid for it because it's from a fellow YouTuber and I'm not here to, you know, make money off of what I purchased from people unless I get it for dirt cheap. That's a whole nother story. But anyway, it's fabulous. I wish it fit me better. I just know that I am not gonna take it to a jeweler. I'm horrible about doing it. I mean, it's gonna just sit around and that's just gonna make me so angry because it's a fabulous, look at that. I mean, this is incredible ring, such a great stone. I know nothing about it. I just know that this is wild horse and it's sterling silver. I have no idea where it's made, who made it or anything like that, um, but it is incredible. And it's a huge face. I mean, this is, where's my tape measure? I mean, it's, it's a substantial flipping ring. Uh, the face of this is two and three quarters. So this is really beautiful. And look at all the 
matrix in it. Just a great ring. So this is also available for pre-sale um, if anybody is interested in getting a fan. I mean, I got a great deal, I thought, so I will pass that deal along if you are size six and a half. Now, this is a very simple band, and this can obviously easily be taken uh, to a jeweler and made larger. Like I said, though, I'm kind of lazy when it comes to that stuff. So, you know, my laziness could benefit someone else. I don't know. It sounds so silly, but it is what it is. Okay, what else? Um, I have this. I showed this in a short. I've got this gorgeous sterling silver. And I thought these were white sour, white sapphire. I just turned off my thing. I'm not sure. I don't remember if these are uh, quartz. Oh, white sapphire, I don't remember. Uh, this is a uh, you know Art Deco style. This is not Art Deco. It's in the style of it. It is fabulous. It has the double safety. It's just absolutely beautiful. It looks like platinum, doesn't it? It's gorgeous. And this layered, you could layer this with gold, pink gold, silver. I mean, it looks just beautiful. Really great bracelet. Really, really well made. It has a lot of a stability to it. Like it's a real solid bracelet. Okay, what else am I gonna show? Okay, this one I'm gonna show. This is not available for pre-sale because I had a few people reach out um, about it. This is a uh, super old. I'm not gonna say antique, but super duper old. Sterling silver carved check glass. Now I don't know if the details around here are sterling. I didn't even test that. The back is sterling, and back here is sterling. I'm not sure because I see a little bit of like rose colored coming through. So. I didn't clean that up, I just left it. But I know what touches your finger is sterling. This is beautiful, look at that. No chips, flea bites, anything. Just absolutely fantastic condition. I will give you the size of this just in case you are curious. Um, you are a, you're a seven. This is a size seven. So this will be up for auction unless someone I mean, I can tell you what the start bid will be and then I'll add probably 10 bucks to it if you really can't be there or don't like me or don't want to be there for the sale but just want the piece. Trust me, I, I get emails. I know these things. So, hey, teach, teach, what is that saying? I don't know. Who knows what that saying is? Whatever. It's all good. It is all good. Okay. Look at these beauties. Mm, these are like those uh, in the style of, in the style of Frida Kahlo earrings. These are vintage. They are sterling silver, but these are made by, oh, this person. I um, need to look them up. Oh, can you see that? S-U-D-H-A. Really incredible. I found a couple pair. I bought myself a pair. Mine aren't by this company. Mine's a different company. Oh, well, actually, I don't know who made mine, but um, just really incredible. Sterling silver. These are long, gorgeous. They have birds on it. Just a really lovely look. Very Frida Kahlo looking. Um, absolutely gorgeous. And these are in fantastic condition. None of these are new. These are older pieces. So the condition is really great. Gorgeous. Okay. Um, Okay, so I have this beauty. This is uh, sterling silver and coral. It is a size seven. So pretty, I love it. I love the darkened background. It really makes the coral pop, very dimensional. Really smooth ring in here. Feels great on. How about, do, do, do. oh, I was wearing this. I stuck this on my finger. <laughs> this this one, it was, I've been wearing it. Okay, so this is very pretty. This is sterling silver and turquoise. Really long face. How big is the face of this? This is two inches. And this one is a size six. I'll show you what it looks like on. Really easy to wear. Oh, here, I'll take that off. Really nice. Isn't that pretty? Has a, uh, oh, quadruple. I was say it has a triple shank. It doesn't. Well, it has the four that go into the one. Really pretty. This is a newer one. This is not a vintage piece. Okay. 
So we got that baby. Got that baby. Oh yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh, I'll show this. This will probably wait until auction, but I'm gonna show it. This is a. I had this piece such a long time ago. Um, and I. Yeah. Anyway, this is Whiting and Davis. Um, from the Athena. Athena. I think it's Athena collection. So, and it is signed to Whiting Davis. A great, awesome, huge bracelet. I think my other one. The other one I sold to a uh, Tanya. Yeah, it's fantastic. Look at that. So this will be available up for auction now, okay? Uh, these are not easy to find, especially in this condition. Really amazing. Look at this. And it is signed. Where is that signature? Can we zoom in? Let's see if we can zoom in. It is signed. Oh, hello, camera. You will. It is signed right in there. Whiting and Davis. Isn't she beautiful? I thought it was Apollo. I don't know who it is. So it says Athena. I thought it was Apollo, but it's some god or goddess. Okay. What else? Mm. Oh, I have these beautiful. This is a banded sterling silver and banded agate. And I have two. I have two different ones. This one has uh, their larger agates. This is a. This one is older than the other one. I think. If I had the ring light on, it's really beautiful. It's actually translucent. You can see through it. Um, and then you have these fabulous bands on it. Like, let's see, can we? No, I can't get the light through it right now because I don't have all my lights on. I apologize. But really, look how beautiful that stone is. Okay. Let me see the length on this one. I don't know. Oh, where's that? I... Okay, let me get the cone. Cone of shame is what I say. I don't feel like it's accurate, but everyone tells me I'm not so okay. Okay, so this one is smaller. According to my cone, this is six and three quarters. According to the cone, it's six and three quarters. And then according to my tape measure, watch, it's gonna be the same. I don't know. Let's see. Let me see. Uh, according to okay, yeah, shoot. Okay, well, according to my tape measure, it's six and three quarters. Okay, then we have this one. Um, and this one's different. Uh, this one has a safety chain and it latches differently. The other one's like a push in this one. Is that right? Look at, oh, I, I love this one. Uh, this one has one boo-boo. Where's the boo-boo? Boo-boo, where are you? Hold on, let's see, where is it? Let me see, I'll probably see it on camera better. There it is. Little, little chip right there. Do you see it? Little chip. So I'll price it accordingly. Thank God it's on the back end. So when you're wearing it, you won't see it, you know? But anyway, uh, this one is also a smaller one, I think. Pretty sure. This one might be, let's see. Let me see. According to the cone. Okay, this one's seven inches. Banded agate is underrated, y'all. It is beautiful. It falls coming up. It's just a great, I don't know. To me, it's very neutral. I think it matches everything. Although I don't wear jewelry to necessarily match what I'm wearing, but I usually wear a lot of black and charcoal gray. So Things pretty mat match pretty whatever I'm trying to say. Okay, wow, I need some coffee, don't I? Okay, look at this. Ready for all my star lovers? Look at this sterling silver constellation cuff. Sterling. We got the little star. It's a constellation. I don't know what constellation it is. It is a signed piece. I love it. And this is totally adjustable because there's no stones in it. Now sterling can get fatigued, so you don't want to be like, you know, yanking it nonstop because it will fatigue it and it will crack over a long period of time. But no, this can be totally molded bigger. Um, now, I don't, right now, it would be way too big on me. Okay, because look, I have, I have little vests. Right now, this is probably, I don't know what this is set to, but I'll just tell you. Um, but this can be made to fit me. So this can be made to fit uh, if you wear a size like, you know, six inch bracelet or six and a quarter. Right now, one, two, this is set for a size seven. Someone who wears a size seven bracelet, not a seven inch wrist. Remember, when you measure your wrist, I have a five inch wrist. I'm not buying a five inch bracelet. It will break. It'll be tight and uncomfortable. So I look for a five and a half um, up. I mean, I'm good up to a full inch. Like I'm totally great at a six, even a six and three quarters I can wear. Seven is too big for me. Seven will like literally fall down to like here and it's annoying. Um, but 
you need to have room for your bracelet to move. So just keep that in mind when someone says, oh, my wrist, that'll never fit me. I wear, my wrist is, you know, I wear a, a seven, a seven inch bracelet, you know, but my wrist is whatever. You like, just keep it in mind that the size of your wrist, you have to at least add an inch to it, unless you want it super duper tight, okay? That's just my personal opinion. I've broken bracelets and I've had bracelets that were way too big and I still buy the wrong size all the time, but just figured I'd share that little info for you. Anyway, fabulous. This is available. Um, gosh. Ooh, look at this, look at this. This one's awesome. This is adjustable. Sterling silver and uh, blown glass. You can see the bubble in it. I love it, look at that. And it is adjustable. It's a nice size ring too. Isn't that cool? Yeah, look at all that texture. Yeah, it's amazing. So this can fit a size, I don't know, six to a 10. It just depends how comfortable you wanna be. <laughs> okay. Holy goodness, Manishi. Um, la, 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 la. Okay, so I will show this. Um, I had one two weeks ago, last week? Not two weeks ago. I don't know what it was, and it was smaller. It was my size, and I sold it. And then I was bummed that I sold it, so I bought another one, and it's too big. <laughs> oh, y'all know me. Anyway, so this is amazing. This is vintage uh, sterling silver, Mexico. Um, uh, this one has a little bit of wear to one of the balls here uh, on the back side because when you wear a bracelet, you know, it bangs. Oh, this one doesn't seem to have any wear, but anyway, but. Who cares? This is a vintage piece. It's amazing. Look at that. Yeah, I'm that way. And I can't, I, I, I kind of knew it was me too big when I got it, but I was like, no, it'll, it'll fit me. And no, it doesn't. It's too big. So this one has got to be a seven inch, I think. Let me see. Oh, yeah. Oh, look, look at that. So this is like a seven inch, a little bigger possibly. Look at that. Seven and a quarter, I'd say. Seven to a seven and a quarter. Yeah, it's amazing. Amazing. So. Yeah, <laughs> told you. Even though I know how to buy the bracelets, I still, you know, you get caught up and you want what you want. And sometimes you just don't think properly. And now I do have some rings um, that are gonna be for bigger sized fingers. Um, I'm not gonna, I guess I shouldn't show everything because not everything is available for pre-sale, but you know, um, just in case. Okay, I'll show one, I'll show one. So I've got this incredible sterling silver and uh, is this citrine or topaz? I don't know, I have to test it, it just came in. Um, it's gorgeous, really. Look at that. You have the cushion cut stone or whatever they call that. I'm pretty sure it's cushion cut. Could be cleaned. I didn't clean it. It just came in. Now, what's interesting is how they made the back of it. I guess they didn't have to leave it completely open because of the lace work. It is open. So you do get all the natural light coming through regardless. So it's pretty cool. Um, it is a bigger size. It is fabulous. Um, Whoa, okay, this, whoa, I'm like acting like that's so big. It's a size nine. It's not so big, but for me it is. It sits right at the nine. So this is beautiful. And I think this is, I don't know. I don't know who it is, who made it. It might have a signature, I'm not sure. Isn't that gorgeous? Just imagine that real cleaned up. And it'd be really, just really cool. And the face of it is a nice size. You know, I know not everyone likes big rings, but you know. The face of this is one and three quarters. So very substantial. Where's the thingy? There it is. Anyway, anyway. So I have, you know, a little bit of everything as always. Um, I've got Mexican sterling coins here. Just a bunch of, you know, red jasper. Uh, I've got some gold filled. I've got some really beautiful sterling silver with the gold. Like this was mine. I'll show it tomorrow. Beautiful antique bracelet amazing um yeah anyway a little bit of everything like i said um i've got oh i didn't show this oh no look you ready if you are an amber lover look at this massive piece this just came in too what is happening there look i'll take it off look that's huge piece look at that it's like half the size of my finger and i have i have thin fingers but i have long fingers i have big hands Really, really great. Real simple. This one's all about the stone. No, no anything. No curly cues, no flowers. Just very modernist looking. Very. And this one is a size. What is this? This one is like a seven and uh, 
seven-ish. It sits a little bit above, I mean, underneath the seven, just a little bit. Okay, see that? Now, when you get, um, it has a little bit of finger spillage room. When you get these real big rings, though, you don't want them, you want them to fit snugly because they're big, they're top heavy. So you want it to fit. If you were like, I couldn't wear this because it would drive me nuts um, because it's not my size. So just keep that also in mind. I'm just trying to avoid, I have people avoid buying rings that aren't going to fit them. I know it's really difficult to buy and to sell rings because everyone's fingers are slightly different. So, you know, if it's a thick band, it's going to be a tighter size. If it's a real big, heavy piece like this with just one band, not two or a thinner band, you want to make sure that it is the accurate size, not a little bit big because then it's just going to fly all over. If anything, you want it a little bit tighter. Not where you're uncomfortable, but anyway, that's just my two cents on that. Anyway, I thought it was a really cool piece. Oh, the face of it. How big is this? This one is two inches. Yeah, that's a real nice piece. Two inch face. Okay. I don't know if I've shown it up, but got stuff as always. Um, and I will have some a jewelry bundle here tomorrow. Um, and I have some natural stone. We've got some really beautiful earrings. I've got some brooches. I've got a couple couple new brooches. Um, yeah, and a couple little surprises, okay? Anyway, this is Kirsten from Kirsten Red Resale. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please give it a thumbs up, thumbs down. Click subscribe. Put your notification bell on. If you want to participate in tomorrow evening's sale, register with me. All that information will be somewhere down here. Give you lots of, oh, I'm doing all wrong. <laughs> Love and hugs. Okay, everyone. Mwah. Have a fabulous Wednesday. Be safe out there. But most important, be kind to yourself. Okay? Mwah. Bye, everyone.